Hey, Fitzy back at you here now. I'm here today to going to show you how I modified the 66 Mustang column to get it set up to take a rack and pinion steering. Now if you're familiar with these, these have the box mounted to the bottom side of the column. Uh, when you cut them off, there's no bearings, there's no way there to, to hold it all in place. You can actually take the column right out of the car. So what you got to do is you got to find a way to secure the shaft inside the column. What I went and did is I made up two little end plates. You can see these here. All the air sleeves that slides down inside the column and are held in place with two little rivets on either side. And there's a bearing inside, three quarter inch bearing, nothing fancy. I picked these up at Prince's Auto, they're on the shelf down there, along with two collars. That's all I had to buy for this whole installation. You can see where that fits out over there. And I made a bunch of sleeves up so this slid down inside of it. I also put another one on the top side of the column here to give it strength. As you can see, the column turns right good, and there is absolutely no end play on this column. Right. Now, <clears throat> one of the other issues that you're going to run into is that the column has nothing to bolt to. It was only a rubber seal down here at the bottom, so I made up this piece here to mount in the factory location where the seal was to for the firewall. So I'm going to show you now how I made all this up and got all this fitting in so it all worked good and it's always an issue that you'll always find making these columns is uh, you gotta spend a bit of time on these to make these work right so uh, I'm gonna show you that now enjoy <laughs> 